Hey guys, this is Genuine Polish and welcome to the video. In this video, we're going to be covering all the common and rare metals and auction not included spaced out DLC. So first off, we're going to go over general characteristics of metal. All refined metals have a high thermal conductivity, uh, medium specific heat capacity, and moderate radiation absorption. All metal ore when it's heated to a melting point becomes the refined version of the metal with no mass loss, with the exception of two, thermium, which becomes niobium, and uranium ore, which becomes depleted uranium. So I've split up the metals into common and special categories, and I'll be covering both of them alphabetically. So first off, we have aluminum. Aluminum has a melting point of 1,982.9, an evaporation point of 4,478, a freezing point of 1,220.5, and a hardness of 25 for both the refined version and the ore version. As is the highest specific heat capacity at 0 0.506 of all the common metals, and that's the same for the refined and the ore version. It has the highest thermal conductivity by a long shot of all the common metals at 113.889 for the refined version, and again, the highest for the ore at 11.389. It has a pretty high radiation absorption at 0.72 for the refined version and 0.77 for the ore. The radiation emission is of course zero, and it has no decor or overheat bonus for aluminum. Aluminum is a pretty good all-purpose building metal that's exceptionally good for heat transfer. Next up is cobalt. So cobalt has a melting point of 2722.7, a evaporation point of 5300.3, and a freezing point of 2722.7. It has a hardness of 75 as a refined metal and 25 as an ore. It has a specific heat capacity of 0.233 as a refined metal and an ore. And it has a pretty high thermal conductivity at 55.556 as a refined metal and 2.222 as an ore. It has radiation absorption of 0.63 as a refined metal and 0.58 as an ore. Again, the radiation emission is zero and it doesn't have any decor or overheat bonus. Cobalt is another good all-purpose building material. It has a pretty good thermal conductivity, but it's not anywhere near aluminum. All right, next is gonna be copper. So copper has a melting point of 1,982.9, like aluminum, has an evaporation point of 4,641.5 and a freezing point of 1,982.9. It has a hardness of 25 in both the refined and the ore state. It has a specific heat capacity of 0.214 in both the refined metal and the ore state. It has a thermal conductivity of 33.333 as a refined metal and 2.5 as an ore. It has radiation absorption of 0.61 as a refined metal and 0.56 as an ore. It has zero radiation emission again, but this is the first metal that we're going to be looking at that has a decor bonus. It has 20% decor bonus as a refined metal and 10% as an ore. This is the first metal that we're going to be looking at that has an overheat bonus and it has plus 90, which is on par with all the common metals with the exception of steel and lead. And we'll talk about those in a little bit. Copper has the second highest decor bonus for all the common metals, so it makes it a really good material for buildings inside recreation rooms and moral bonus rooms. And because of its early access and its overheat bonus, it makes a really good material for early game liquid and air pumps, especially surrounding geysers. All right, so next up we have gold. It has a melting point of 1,946.9, an evaporation point of 5,172.5, a freezing point of 1,946.9, and it has the lowest hardness of all the common metals at 2 as a specific heat capacity of 0 0.072 which is really low for the refined version and 0 0.083 for the ore. It has a thermal conductivity of 33.333 for the refined version and 1.11 for the ore. It has radiation absorption of 0.35 for the refined version and 0.3 for the ore. It has radiation emission of 0 for both the refined and the ore and it has a decor bonus of 50% for the refined version and a 10% for the ore. And it also has an overheat buff of plus 90 for the refined version and also the ore, which is very special for the only metal ore that has an overheat bonus. Refined gold has the highest decor bonus out of all the common metals, and it's excellent for any kind of recreational building, or if you just need to reduce the negative decor bonus from wires and buildings. It also has a plus 90 overheat bonus, which is pretty good. All right, so next on the list is iron. So iron has a melting point of 2,794.7 as a evaporation point of 4,981.7 and a freezing point of 2,794.7. It has a hardness of 50 as a refined metal and 25 as an ore. It has a specific heat capacity of 0.249 for both the refined metal and the ore. It has a thermal conductivity of 30.556 for the refined metal and 2.222 for the ore. 
It has a radiation absorption of 0.66 for both, or sorry, for the refined metal and 0.61 for the ore. It has zero radiation emission, zero decor bonus, and refined iron has a plus 90 to overheat. And then we have pyrite, which gets lumped in with iron because iron is a refined version of pyrite. So it has a melting point of 1982.9, which is significantly lower than iron. That's actually the same melting point for aluminum and copper. It has a hardness of 25, has a specific heat capacity of 0.214, and a thermal conductivity of 2.5. And then finally, it has a radiation absorption of 0.7, and zero decor bonus, and zero overheat, like most of the common metals. Iron is a good all-purpose building material, and it has the overheat buff, but because of its use in steel, it's recommended to use other metals and save iron. Iron is unique in that it is the only metal that has two ores that turn into the refined version of the metal. Alright, so next up is lead. It has the lowest melting point by far out of all the common metals at 621.5. It has a pretty low evaporation point at 3180.2, and its freezing point is going to be 621.5. It has the second lowest hardness out of all the common metals at 10. It has the absolute lowest specific heat capacity out of the common metals at 0.071 and the lowest thermal conductivity out of the refined metals at 19.444. It has the highest radiation absorption, as you would expect, at 0.85. It has zero radiation emission, zero decor, and it does have a minus 36 to overheat. With a low melting point and the overheat debuff and low thermal conductivity, really its best use is used for blocking radiation. All right, next on the list is going to be steel. So steel has a pretty high melting point at 4,400.3, a high evaporation point at 6,920.3, and a freezing point at 1,982.9. And has the biggest difference between its melting point and freezing point out of all the common metals. Its harness is going to be 50. Its specific heat capacity is 0.214, the same as pyrite. It has a thermal conductivity of 44.444 and a radiation absorption of 0.74, which is pretty good. It has zero radiation emission, naturally, zero decor bonus, but it does have a plus 360 overheat bonus. Steel is the best all around general purpose common metal, but because of the difficulty in getting its materials, it's recommended to use it for high temperature biomes and in rocket production mainly. All right, so finally for our common metals, we have tungsten slash wolframerite. So tungsten has the highest melting point at 5,300.3 out of all the common metals. It has the highest evaporation point at 10,705.7. And it has the highest freezing point at 6,191.3. It has the highest hardness at 200 out of all the common metals. Its specific heat capacity is 0 0.074. Its thermal conductivity is 33.333. Its radiation absorption is 0.35 and it has zero radiation emission, zero decor bonus. It does have a plus 90 to overheat like some of the other common metals. And then Wolframerite, the only difference is it has a hardness of 150. The specific capacity is the same. The thermal conductivity is gonna be 8.333 and the radiation absorption is gonna be moderately high at 0.65. All right, so that's gonna be it for our common metals. Now we're gonna move on to the three metals that I consider to be special metals. First off, we have Niobium, which has a melting point of 4,490.3 an evaporation point of 8,570.9, and a freezing point of 4,490.3. has a hardness of 50, a specific heat capacity of 0.147, a thermal conductivity of 30, radiation absorption of 0.49, zero radiation emission, and it has a decor bonus of 50%, which is tied with gold for the lead. And it does have a staggering 900 overheat bonus, which is a huge step up from iron. Neobium has the highest decor bonus out of all the special metals at 50%, which again is tied with gold. It doesn't have great thermal properties, but it does provide a plus 900 overheat bonus, which is a huge step up from iron, so it's excellent for building buildings in hot biomes. Alright, so next up we have Thermium. Thermium has a melting point of 4850.3, a evaporation point of 8570.9, and a freezing point of 4490.3. It has a hardness of 80, it has a specific heat capacity of 0.346, it has the highest thermal conductivity of all the metals at 122.222. It has radiation absorption of 0.6. And it has the highest overheat bonus in the entire game at 1620. Thermium is the king of metals. I mean, it should be the last metal that you get in the game naturally. It doesn't have fantastic specific heat capacity or radiation absorption, but it has the best thermal conductivity of the special metals, even beating out aluminum by a bit with 1622. Overheat, it's the best metal in the game to prevent buildings from melting. All right, and finally to close off this list, we have the last special metal, uranium. 
So for refined uranium, the melting point is going to be 1,577.9. The evaporation point is going to be 7,469.3. The freezing point is going to be 271.1. Refined uranium has a hardness of 250. has a specific heat capacity of 0.556, which is the best metal in the game. It has a thermal conductivity of 11.111. It has a radiation absorption of 0.3 and it has radiation emission of 275, which is pretty significant. Then we move on to depleted uranium, which has the same thermal properties and the same hardness at 250. It has a radiation absorption of 0.85, which is as good as lead. It has a radiation emission of 55. And finally, we have uranium ore, which has a melting point of 271.1, a hardness of 150, specific heat capacity of 0.556, thermal conductivity of 11.111, radiation absorption of 0.3, and radiation emission of 165. So while uranium is mostly a fuel, it does have a purpose as depleted uranium in blocking radiation. It's equal with lead. Uranium ore also has a very low melting point, so generating depleted uranium is a viable alternative to lead if you don't have access to it early in the game, but you do have the extra negative effect of radiation exposure, but it does have its use. So with all that, we've covered all the metals in auction not included. That's going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching. And finally, if you want to see how to generate worlds this big without mods, go ahead and click on the link on the screen. Thanks for watching.